My name is Nev Campbell, and I play Sydney Prescott. Well, I thought the script was brilliant. Um, it's rare when you read scripts that, you know, you, you start the first few pages and then you don't put it down and you read all the way through without a break. And that certainly was my experience with it because it's just, it was quick and sharp and funny and scary and all of that good stuff. The first film for us was like going to summer camp. It was just a lot of fun. We knew we were part of something that felt like it was on fire. You know, there was something special about it, but you still never know. Um, we had no clue really, of the success that this movie would have. Um, and honestly, every time we do another one of these, it's like going back to summer camp. It's revisiting these characters, revisiting each other, lots of memories and a lot of fun. We all get along really well. So certainly on this one, to be with David and Courtney again was fantastic. I love them. We have so much history together. Um, it's, been, it's been beautiful. I certainly know Sydney. I know the character. Um, yeah, it's just like just putting her boots on again and, and getting into it. And the, the script really flows again and is in keeping with the other films. And, and so it was not difficult. And, and the other actors, I mean, when we get into a rhythm with Dewey and Sid and Gail, we all fall into it pretty easily again. I read the script and I thought they did a great job. I had been apprehensive about doing another one without Wes, um, but I, you know, Matt and Tyler sent me a really beautiful letter um, expressing how they became directors and were making this movie because of these films and that they were huge fans of Wes and that they really wanted to honor him um, and honor his voice. And that meant the world to me to read that letter. So that was definitely a big selling point for me. And then the fans, I mean, the, I just know that there's a real draw. The fans love these films and I, people always ask me, you know, fans on the street will always ask me, you gonna make another one? So it's fun to get, get into it again and give that, you know? The production designer's done such an amazing job of of building the house to a T in a sound stage. Um, it le it felt like walking back into the house. Um, and certainly, you know, there's an ode to Wes in, in on the set. And um, so I, I I got a little teary to be honest when I when I went on set. Um, but it felt good. It, it, you know, this film feels like coming back to the first energy, which is really nice. They're amazing. This, this young cast, they're just, first of all, they're uber fans, which was so sweet. Um, they're just so excited to be a part of the franchise, a part of these films, and so excited to meet David and Courtney and myself. And, um, and they're just, I don't know, something about this generation. They're just really special. <laughs> you know, they've got it together. They're disciplined. They're committed. They have a love for the art. They have a love for these movies. And they're really just a sweet gang. So it's, it's been a real pleasure. I would just say probably, you know, what amazing job they've done with the, with the production itself, you know. And I think, if anything, working with these new directors and, and really feeling like they came into the fold in a, in a really beautiful way and it feels like a continuation. It's what people love about these films. It includes the fun, it includes the scare, it includes the um, sort of meta feeling um, and, and the cleverness of these movies. Um, lots of suspense, lots of thrills. Yeah, just a continuation of what people love about these films. Wes knew how to tell a story, um, which is a, the most important thing when you're when you're making a film. And I think some horror directors just get involved in the gore or just the scare, and you don't really feel engaged with the characters. Um, but Wes managed to do both, and with a lot of suspense um, and a lot of thrills. He knew how to time things in such a way that really got you going. Um, yeah, I think that was that's what that's what made him special. He had a twisted sense of humor and he had a sweet sweet soul. He really did. He he was respectful, loving, like a father in a lot of ways to all of us. Um and mischievous and so talented. Um and you know, gave me my first lead in a film, which I'm so so grateful for because these movies have done great things for all of us, you know. Um, yeah, he was, he was magic. He really was. People approach me often and tell me that Sydney gave them strength, that, that 
she was an underdog who overcame, that she was not a victim. Um, and as a female actress in this kind of film also, it's really nice to get to play a character like that, like a, a heroine who is um, not a victim in any way and does overcome. And it's amazing. You don't, you just don't know when you're making a film how it's going to inspire people. And she has inspired people a lot, and I'm grateful for that. I'm excited for audiences to see a return to Woodsboro and also for audiences to see this new young cast because I think they've done an incredible job. And I think, honest, and we see a lot of Dewey in this film, and I think it's really nice to see his journey. These are big theater movies. I know that, that Scream fans like to go to these movies not once, not twice, but 10, 15, 20 times. Um, they, they need to be watched with an audience because people get involved. People yell at the screen, people laugh, people scream. <laughs> um, so I, I really hope that we get to see it in that way.